So back in July, this website called Pottermore sent me an email asking me how well I knew the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And um, it consists of a collection of quizzes, which has to do with various things about, um, about the Wizarding World. And I figured that I would go and uh, take some of these on recording uh, for one, bragging rights, and two, uh, to see exactly how well my followers know the uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, if you want to skip this video and go take these quizzes yourself first, I will leave a link to this in the description of this video, hopefully, if I remember. Feed yourself, do that. Uh, so, to start with, what am I going to do? There's the Ho Hogwarts quiz medium, easy. There's the dark arts quiz, Hogwarts quiz hard. A couple more of these. There are more than the last time I looked here. I've taken a couple of them just to see what they were like. But, uh, for the most part, I want to go and um, do this on recording. Blind, like I said a minute ago. Let's start with medium, because I have a feeling that easy is going to be an insult to the intelligence of the people watching this, because I'm assuming the people watching this uh, already have a okay understanding of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Let's see, so let's start with medium. This is Nimbus 2000 level. Uh, who do Harry, Ginny, and Neville join in a Hogwarts Express compartment in the beginning of Harry's fifth year? That would be Luna, Luna because uh, I guess all the other compartments were full. I don't completely... Uh, remember why. Let's see, what's next? Can I hit next? Next question. This is not the best site design I've ever seen on a website, but let's run with it. What type of quill does wizarding journalist read a Skeeter favor? That is going to be quick quotes quill that does not actually write down the, uh, the responses that people give her. The divination classroom is at the top of which Hogwarts Tower? North Tower. I don't, I don't remember why precisely I remember that, but I do. That's just how many times I've... Uh, that's just how many times I've read the third book. A Hogwarts full title is Keeper of the Keys at Hogwarts. No. It's Keeper of the Keys and Grounds at Hogwarts. Who wrote the Hogwarts textbook A History of Mag Magic? Annunciation. Hello, my name is Dragonite. Uh, Bethilda Bagshot. That was, uh... That was the name that came up a couple times on the, the back-to-school list of supplies that they sent the uh, students in the summer. True or false, the spell to reverse the effect of Lumos and Nox, which I think was only mentioned exactly once in the various seven books, but okay. In his first class with Professor Slughorn, Harry w wins a tiny glass bottle of which potion? Felix Felicis. I like to say that name. Uh, which substances are not known to be used for making wand cores? All right, so that's going to be Hippogriff Feather, Unicorn Hair, Dragon Hair. Dragons don't even, ha don't even have hair. Let's, uh, let's roll with that one. <clears throat> okay. Niffler is the most often kept for guarding property. That is exactly the opposite of what Nifflers are often guard, uh, kept for, because they will destroy property, looking for treasure and what have you. During Harry's first transfiguration lesson, Professor McGonagall transfer, transfigures her desk into which animal? That would be a pig. I don't know why you want those in the classroom, but that's what she did. He said, I was ready to risk everything for him. I was ready. It was my dream, my greatest ambition to serve him, to prove myself for him. Um, I don't know offhand, but that is a very Bellatrix Lestrange thing to say. No, that was Barty Crouch. All right, so I missed a question. I feel bad. Select all that apply. Which are the following? Which of the following are Hogwarts ghosts? Uh, the Fat Friar, Nearly Headly the Snick, the Great Lady, Rowena Ravenclaw was a founder, so not a ghost. All right. How does Professor Trelawney spell her first name? Sybil. Two L's, if I recall. All right, that was actually lucky because I didn't know, but. I uh, guess the right answer. True or false, the students uh, the students and teachers from Bo Battens and Durmstrang arrive at Hogwarts on Halloween. No, they arrived a couple days before Halloween. Oh, they did. All right, I thought they I thought they arrived like the day before Halloween and the uh, the ceremony for the Goblet of Fire and what have you was on Halloween, but maybe not. Uh, which of the following is not a book written by Gilderoy Lockhart? Guiding with ghouls, holidays with hags, voyages with vampires, troubles with trolls. Um. Trouble with trolls, because it was travels with trolls. All right, that was a tricky question. Good job, quiz. I got 13 out of 15. I feel bad. I should have gotten 15 out of 15, considering how many near hours I've spent reading the books. But there, that's, a, that's a complaint for another day. Let's go back. I want to do the hard question. Firebolt level. All right, let's do this. Yes, this is a very, very hard Harry Potter quiz that you should only be, attempted a, you should only be attempting if you've tried the easy and medium rounds first. Let's do this. How many broomsticks are flown in a full game of Quidditch? That would be 15, for, uh, 14 players in the referee. Uh, which are not passwords to get into Dumbledore's office? Cockroach Cluster, that was in the fourth year. Licorice Wand, 
Uh, that wasn't one. Sherbet Lemon was the second year. Fizzing Wisby. I think it's just Licorice Wand. All right. Good. I wasn't sure about Fizzing Wisby, but it rang a bell, so whatever. Terry Boot is a member of Ravenclaw. Doesn't he? Yes, he's a member of Ravenclaw. Which Polyjuice Potion ingredients must be acquired at the full, full moon? Fluxweed. Okay. Uh, I would hope that I get all of the uh, Chamber of Secrets questions right, because that is the one that I actually had the audiobook for growing up, and I basically listened to it nonstop for several years. Uh, what type of creature is an Ashwinder? That is a type of serpent. All right, I've also read the, uh, this is getting into the territory of Quidditch Through the Ages and Fantastic Beasts, which, because again, I am a complete nerd, I have also read. Uh, true or false, Aragog's life is called Mosag. I feel like that's like a word backwards or something. No, it isn't a word backwards, but uh, that, that is true in any case. Uh, which, te which team from the Ministry of Magic is responsible for modifying the memories of muggles who have been exposed to magic? That'll be the Obliviators. It's not a hard one. If you know what the Obliviate spell does, you should be able to just guess that one. Uh, where can the demigods be found with difficulty? S far east, I want to say? Cool, it is. Uh, who's, which house was Moaning Myrtle sorted into? And I believe... I don't know if this was actually from the books. This might have been like one of the other um, one of the other pieces of literature that was released on Harry Potter. Anyway, I think it's Hufflepuff. That is incorrect. She was... Which house was she in? Ravenclaw is the correct answer. All right. It was either... It obviously wasn't Gryffindor or Slytherin. Um, I, I just had it in my head that it was Hufflepuff. I feel like I've seen that piece of information before, but I don't know where. What year was Ollivander's founder? 382 BC. Okay. Uh, what shades of blue robes does Lockhart wear in Harry Potter and the, Ch and the Chamber of Secrets? Aquamarine, Turquoise, and Forget-Me-Not, if I recall. Great. That was actually, I wasn't sure about that one. I didn't think it was Peacock. I knew Peacock wasn't one of them, but I couldn't remember uh, about the, uh, the other colors exactly, except for Forget-Me-Not. Uh, what number is Harry's Vault at the Gringotts Wizarding Bank? Okay, so this was from the movie. This was never mentioned in the books. It is 687. 687. There we go. Who says this? I wouldn't touch a filthy little blood traitor like her, whatever she looked like. That was Blaze the Beanie in the Hogwarts Express during the fifth year regarding Ginny Weasley, which is a very polite thing to say about somebody. Uh, select all that apply. What are the two known hobbies for Professor Quirrell? Wizarding Chess. It had to be Wizarding Chess because he survived that challenge in, um, in the uh, Sorcerer's Stone area of the first book. And Pressing Wildflowers? Oh, Travel. Yeah, Pressing Wildflowers doesn't sound right. Travel. He was traveling in Albania for the year. Oh, Wizarding Chess isn't one of them. Okay. I guess he just happens to be good at chess. He doesn't uh, actually like it very much. What's the name of the wizard who came up with the buffalo in his chest when he said S instead of F? Rufio. I had the uh, audiobook for the first Harry Potter uh, briefly, although that was back in the days of uh, cassette tapes, and the uh, if you remember cassette tapes, those tend to not last very long if you don't digitize them because they will get stuck in the tape player if your tape player is having a bad day and they will get all chewed up, and that's what happened to mine. So I haven't listened to that one as much as the Chamber of Secrets, but still enough to remember certain lines like Wizard Barufio. Who says this? My name was down for Eaton. Justin Finch Fletchley. Again, Chamber of Secrets nerd. Uh, the door to the prefix bathroom is left is located on the left side of a statue of whom? Boris the Bewildered. I want to say it's Lankin the Lanky. Nope, it's Boris the Bewildered. All right. Good job, Dragonite. I think that was the second one I've gotten wrong so far. Uh, true or false? When Harry watches the sorting for the second time in his fourth year, he he witnesses Kevin Whitby sorted into Hufflepuff. I think that's. I want to say he's Ravenclaw, although I also have a funny feeling I might be confusing him for Moaning Myrtle. Alright, so I've, apparently I'm confusing Kevin Whitby and Moaning Myrtle. Alright, that was Where Did Quidditch Originate? Quidditch March. Again, Quidditch Through the Ages. Uh, during their first journey to Hogwarts, which chocolate frog card does Ron tell Harry he has about six of? Uh, Morgana. Right, Morgana. Alright. Results. Oh, screw you two! Thanks, game. I mean, I guess 16 out of 20 is a, an 80%, which is like a low B. Uh, I don't know exactly what that would translate into in the uh, Hogwarts grading system. It would probably be, like, acceptable. That's the lowest form of passing. But, um, 
<clears throat> anyway, how long have I been going for? Where's OBS? That's probably going to be cut down a little bit when I cut out time from the start when I was getting this all set up. Uh, so for now, I'm going to end this off. I may do another video on some of these other quizzes. Can I, uh, can I go back? Can I do another? Oh, no, I can't do another quiz. What percentile is this? How it compared to others. I didn't notice this until just now. But this is, a, it looks like a fairly high percentile. I want to say like 80th or 90th or so. Um, what, how did I do? I know I didn't do, yeah. I didn't do quite as well percentile wise in uh, the Nimbus 2000 quiz. All right, whatever. I may do some of the other quizzes that were listed on the front page of this in another video. But for now, my name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you've taken the quiz yourself, let me know how you did. And if you just say that you got 100% on all of them, I'll know that you're making stuff up. Um, unless you're Unworld, perhaps. But I will see you all later. All right, all right, all right. I'll do the easy quiz. If I don't get 100% on this, I'm going to disown myself. Clean sweep 7 level, let's go. What creature is depicted on the emblem for Gryffindor hat? Really? Really? Among the wizarding community, the term muggler ref refers to what kind of person? A non-magical person born into a non-magical family. Alright. There's a little bit of danger of clicking the wrong one on these confusingly worded uh, answers, but never mind. Uh, true or false? Professor Dumbledore's spectacles are rectangular, and no, they're circular, aren't they? Good. Alright, that was a little bit odd. Uh, that was honestly less easy than I was expecting, but... Whatever, how far down does this page go? Oh, there's there's more on this page. I saw the size of the scroll bar and I was like, what? Anyway, which Hogwarts student says, I don't go looking for trouble, trouble usually finds me. That's Harry. I mean, he's not wrong either. Uh, select all that apply. Rem members of Ravenclaw House are, are known for possessing which of the two follow which two of the following traits? Uh, wit and intelligence, which are arguably the same thing. All right. What is the incantation for the summoning charm? Oxio. Oxio. I'm pretty sure it's Oxio, with a uh, the first C being hard, but I've heard it pronounced both ways, so I don't know. Uh, what color is the Hogwarts Express? Scarlet. <clears throat> okay. What? How are parcels sent and delivered in the Wizarding World? That's going to be via owls. Wizard postman. What would that even look like? Uh, which Hogwarts student says, just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon doesn't mean we all have? That's Hermione. It's one of the more, uh, uh, that's one of the more famous lines from the fifth movie, if I recall. Uh, what do Harry and Ron crash into when they fly Arthur Weasley's Ford Anglia to Hogwarts? The Whomping Willow. If they flew into the Astronomy Tower, I think they would have been in a little bit more trouble than they actually were. Alright, I got 10 out of 10, and, uh, so did most people looking at this. But, for real this time, I'm going to end this off here. My name is Dragonite, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.